So it turns out that Nintendo might have leaked a key feature for the Nintendo Switch 2. Now, this is something that has been widely speculated and talked about, but getting anything directly from Nintendo is always noteworthy since we're talking about a platform in Nintendo Switch 2 that Nintendo has yet to comment really on, yet to confirm outside of the lighthearted hey, we're always working on new hardware, or hey, we're planning to bring our account system forward to whatever the next system is. And that's about as far as Nintendo has actually acknowledged publicly this. But it does turn out that Nintendo has updated something today that has now led me to believe that the original thoughts on this were correct, and Nintendo has indeed leaked a key feature themselves for the next generation Switch. That being said, before we dive into this, I would love it if you guys would go ahead and drop likes and, you know, subscribe to the channel. We're trying to get to 150,000 subscribers this year. Oh, but we're not stopping there because I want you to go ahead and ding that bell so we can be notified or well, I guess you can be notified of all future uploads. So what are we talking about? Well, Nintendo of America regularly posts a bunch of their jobs on Twitter and other places, and they are always hiring for different positions. And... Doc Trey 81 a fellow YouTuber, deserves some credit here, and we actually need to reference him for a specific reason, because Nintendo updated one of their job postings, and here's the thing, he posted a job posting on his channel a couple days ago that says, for a contract data engineer, machine learning. Now, I decided not to cover this myself a couple days ago because I don't like the language being used. He was inferring that Nintendo was hiring somebody for deep learning super sampling or to apply deep learning super sampling internally into their tool base and into Nintendo. And that's because in the job listing, it has a lot of things that saying like you'll be working at the intersection of machine learning infer inference engines and embedded systems facing challenges that stem from processing the memory constraints and a power budget tasks include but are not limited to porting of machine learning frameworks to embedded platforms evaluation of benchmarking and machine learning hardware solutions section and optimization of machine learning models to fit power memory and cpu budgets so it definitely could suggest deep learning super sampling it also could have suggested I don't know, a million other things. So I didn't really feel like this was any sort of confirmation of deep learning super sampling. Now we're gonna get into deep learning super sampling in a bit and why this matters. But the reason we're talking about this now today when I wasn't willing to do it before is there have been some headlines since DocTray81 put this information out there that Nintendo has confirmed DLS. S, like, they, like it's out there, right? There's headlines for it, comicbook.com, other YouTubers. And the strange thing is, once those headlines came out, Nintendo has now updated the listing. Now, the listing still has the exact same information inside of it, but the title of the job has changed. It now says, Contract Data Engineer and Embedded Systems. Now, why did they get rid of the machine learning part of the title? Well, if this did indeed leak that Nintendo is working on deep learning super sampling, and this is the confirmation of that, they wanted to make sure that people don't find that job listing and people don't look for it. And people are, it's just a clever way to sort of hide something that, whoops, we accidentally put machine learning in the title for the job, which led people to discover this is deep learning super sampling. They're probably not gonna find it now if we do data engineer embedded systems, but you can even look at the job number on his post and on this post. It's literally the same with 23 at the end and six Z, sorry, 23 at the beginning and six Z at the end. This is the same job posting. They just updated the title of it because they don't want people digging into it and discovering this deep learning super sampling stuff. It's obviously too late at this point. Once things hit the internet, it is what it is. So because of the job listing title update, it may Makes me go, you know what? Doc Trey 81, credit to him, was on to something. This may indeed be confirmation of deep learning super sampling. Remember, you have to design and develop and maintain a formal framework for validating and benchmarking machine learning solutions. Hey, benchmarks for DLSS on the platform. Makes a lot of sense. Perform evaluations of machine learning hardware, research, evaluate and analyze and optimize machine learning models. So 
Again, all of this could definitely be deep learning super sampling. Now, we've talked about DLSS a lot over the last year and really even dating back to the Nintendo Switch Pro rumor days, but I can't emphasize how important deep learning super sampling is. We're going to show you some examples now from some other content creators on YouTube that are showing you what deep learning super sampling can do, uh, whether it's taking 240p images and making them better or taking other... Just, just to show you the power of deep learning super sampling because the thing is, it is like magic there'll be people out there that tell you that's not the case and they'll down talk it no dlss is massive and we know according to the reports coming out of gamescom that they were likely using dlss 3.5 for actual demos being shown off which is important because dlss 3.5 has ray tracing upscaling which is awesome Absolutely awesome if the Nintendo Switch 2, the next generation Switch, whatever we want to call this thing, actually exists and is capable of using ray tracing to this level that has been described from Gamescom. So, deep learning super sampling has a bunch of different facets to it, but the key things that we obviously worry about are obviously the resolution upscaling and then the upscaling of ray tracing. And what this is going to allow the system to do is target native resolutions that are smaller than what the screen is being displayed. So, let's say for an example that it is using a 1080p 8 inch LCD panel. None of the games on Nintendo Switch 2 would need to actually target 1080p. They could target 540p and use deep learning super sampling to make them almost identical. Like very hard to tell the difference between a native 1080p and a, you know, upscaled 1080p. And in doing that, because it's running at such a lower resolution, the frame rates would massively increase. And next thing you know, you're running at 60 frames a second on something like Call of Duty. Now, when you dock the system, which would naturally boost all the clock speeds, let's say that you want to play in 4K. You could actually have a native 1080p at 60 FPS, and you could use DLSS to upscale that to 4K and have it look stupidly close to what it looks like on Play station five so the point isn't that dlss solves every problem that happens by having lower end hardware but what dlss does do is really make up some of the performance problems that some games have because you're able to lower the re the base resolution of your game which often gives you a hell of a lot more performance headroom for things like frame rate and then with dlss which is ai technology being able to naturally upscale this in very smart ways with dedicated hardware it ends up being a beautiful solution to a lot of problems and again so many dlss examples out there for those who don't know you can really go down the rabbit hole looking at what dlss can do with the games it hasn't enabled and all the testing that's been done dlss deep learning super sampling is actually that fundamentally good so while obviously the system's not announced at this point and all of that i think it's pretty safe to say that while yes we've heard about dlss being used behind the scenes it is interesting that this job posting in particular basically confirms that DLSS is coming as Nintendo's working on more and more testing solutions for it. It doesn't mean there's not currently some thanks to NVIDIA, but Nintendo probably wants some of their own internal stuff. So anyways, you guys gotta let me know what you think about this down in the comments below because obviously this is, in my opinion, obviously we want to know the specs of this system and we have a pretty good guess at the specs, but we don't know exactly and we don't know clock speeds. But one thing that's really curious here is this is actually the defining feature of the Nintendo Switch 2's generation. Deep learning super sampling, well, it's not going to be something we talk about all the time because in reality, it's just going to be applied to pretty much every game on the platform, and we're just going to play the games, and we're just going to be impressed. But this is going to be that defining feature that makes this system seem way more capable than it realistically should be. And man, oh man, oh man, am I excited to see a platform where everything coming to it actually takes advantage of this modern AI tech. It, it's going to be crazy. And it obviously goes to show that, hey, not all AI stuff is scary, guys. This is actually a good use of artificial intelligence. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. Do you think this job posting uh, is confirming what it appears to be confirming, especially with Nintendo updating the title after some headlines got out there because they're like, oh, whoops, we... People weren't supposed to find out about this. Like they're reading our job postings a little, a little more closely than we realized. All right, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.